we have one more on the way. She's doing a really good job. And I'm going to ask my helper to come down front because I need my helper. And I think I should stay away from that mic. So, so we have, what do we see right here? Piano, right? Yes, and I'm going to give this to my helper. And helper, can you hold that bag up so all the children can see it? Can you see it? You know, I'm thinking Rhea and Violet. Why don't you come over here? There's a little more space. And because we have this big, beautiful piano here today, we're going to have a special concert. Isn't that great? Okay, so let's see if I can do this. What are these? Anybody know what these are? Okay, I have another container. If this one, this is called a prop failure. Yay! Who likes bubbles? Okay, Desiree. Okay, Violet. Rhea has two hands up. You like bubbles? Aren't they great? You know, they're best to do outside, though. It's best to do the bubbles outside. So I'm going to give this to my helper. You know why, Kalia? We're going to come back to the bubbles. And we're going to talk about a little bit more about the bubbles. But for now, I want to ask you, who knows what holiday is coming up? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. yeah. And you know what? If you listen carefully... I've got something really special for you. Can you listen carefully? Yeah. Okay. So, who knows where Valentine's Day came from? You think you do, huh? Okay, well, let me tell you. This is the story. A very, 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 very long time ago, before we even knew about the United States, so this was a long time ago, when the Emperor Claudius ruled the known world in Rome. And the Emperor Claudius wanted his army to be very, very strong. And he wanted a big army, so he wanted a great big army. He was an emperor with a plan. Do you know what the Emperor Claudius wanted to do? He wanted to conquer the whole world. And so guess what he did? He forbid marriage. He made it illegal to get married. I know, Danica, look at your face. I agree with you. What a thing. What would happen if people couldn't get married? He didn't want any more couple stuff. Get rid of that. Do you know why? Remember I said he had a plan. Do you know what his plan was? To keep his army very, very strong. So he thought, if I can stop people from marrying and getting together, then these soldiers won't want to go home. They'll stay in my army and fight and conquer the world, and I'll have a really courageous army. But you know what? There was a priest who felt so bad about this, and he was secretly sneaking and marrying people. Do you know what happened to that priest? He went to jail, and he was put in jail to be executed. And do you know what happened when he was in jail? The jailer's daughter liked him so much. She would go and listen to his stories, and she just loved the priest. And the priest really liked the jailer's daughter, so he would send her these nice little letters and sign them, love your valentine. 
The priest's name was Valentine. Now, I want to be sure you know. Listen carefully. I don't know if this is true. I have no idea it was a long time ago. It's probably just a legend. A lot of things from a long time ago are just folklore and stories. But you know what, Mima? I'll tell you what I do know. It's a great opportunity to celebrate God's love. Oh, I can talk about God's love all day and all night. That's why I have this paper, so I don't. <laughs> because otherwise, I will, t I will quote verses and tell you that God is love all day and all night. Because that is the one thing that this world needs to know. That God sent his son. And we call him Jesus. And the reason he did this is because our sins separated us from a righteous, holy God. But he had a plan. Just like the Emperor Claudius had a plan, God had a bigger plan. God had a plan to bring us back together so we're not separated. And let me tell you, I don't want to burst your bubble about these stories. But I'll tell you, boys and girls, God's love is great. 1 John 3, 1 says, He loves us and calls us his children. And that's important because your guardian, your grandma, your grandpa, your mother, your dad, don't they take care of you? Boy, I'm looking at these clothes you kids have on. I know you didn't go out and buy them yourself. So you are cared for. And God calls us his children. Romans 5.8 says, While we were sinners, Christ died for us. He paid the penalty for all our wrongdoing. Romans 8.35 says, Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Psalms 5.11-12 through 12 says, He surrounds us with his shield of love. He says he takes our sins and throws them as far as the east is from the west. Now I want to tell you, we have an enemy in this world who lies to us and tells us we're not good enough. We'll never be good enough. And we constantly hear this all through the world, all the time, and it's not true. God is love. And he even tells us in his word what love is. He says <clears throat> in 1 Corinthians, he says, love is patient. He says, love is kind. Now, God is love. He's telling you who he is, right? He says, love is patient. Love is kind. It doesn't brag or boast. He says, it's not puffed up with its own importance. It said, love is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It's not resentful. It does not keep a record of wrongs, but it rejoices in the truth. God's love bears all things, believes all things, and endures all things. And guess what? God's love never fails. And you know what else, Mimo? God's love never ends either. His love for each one of us never ends. And he has a personal, customized plan to get you on that trip to heaven, Danica. You're going to make it. All you have to do is just open your heart and trust and believe. And that's what's going to happen. 1 John 4.19 said, we love him because he first loved us. Colossians 3, 12 to 14, he calls us his dearly beloved. Ephesians 5 says, he sent Christ, he sent Jesus to save us. Boys and girls, he throws our sins so far away. And all we have to do, if you're being bullied at school, pray and ask God to help you. If you see mommy and daddy fighting, pray and ask God to help you. Pray. All the problems that we have, listen, the world is in confused, and we have so many problems. And so many people need to know all about God's love. And this is what the world needs today, is to know that God is love. Can you remember that? Okay, so back to the bubbles. So I have bubbles for each of you, and my helper's going to give them to you. 
When you blow the bubbles, I want you to remember God's amazing love for you. And just load up all your problems up on these bubbles and blow them away. Okay? All right. God bless. And you can go back to your seats, but stop by and see Miss Samadhi. And she has bubbles for you. Remember not to do them until you leave the sanctuary. And I'm going to ask um, the parents to kind of keep an eye on the bubbles so they don't do them until uh, we leave the sanctuary. Thank you and God bless.